at the end of Obama's speech, he did say, you need to do this not just with your vo votes, but with your voices. And more than any other president, he is definitely a follow from behind guy, right? I mean, he waited until the polls on marriage equality were at a tipping point. He waited until the polls showed that coming out with some type of forceful agenda for women's reproductive rights was at a tipping point. He waited for a Sandy Hook and its implications to make any type of meaningful, at least rhetorical push for meaningful gun control. This is who he is. And I think to a certain extent, he, while he gave that Labor Day speech that the Occupy movement and its implications of how it was getting even uh, other Democratic lawmakers talking was another indicative, it was another indication of that. He became much more populist in his rhetoric at that point. Now, that was also a time where there was nothing to be done, but at least we got him off of talking about austerity. And so, I mean, the formula is definitely there. If you want this guy to move in any type of direction, I don't know that you could move him on banks or whatnot, but it's, it's clear he's there. I'm not saying this is a bold leader. I'm just saying that he's provided the tools for that are there if we see activism rise in this country. And also, I mean, just pivoting off of Obama specifically, isn't the point of that FDR quote, which may not even be an actual FDR quote, that, uh, that pushing policy that actually helps real people and most people is by default a much harder thing to do because politics and yes. Washington I mean, is structured to favor a I think small people group have to start interests. with the predicate that anyone who is elected president in the United States is going to be a coward in that respect. I think it's a delusion to uh, assume otherwise. It's one thing to be someone who holds no position, does not, is not holding any type of electoral office, and for them to be very brave. And I include in that um, Barack Obama, the state senator, from Illinois saying we should not go to Iraq. Okay? Because I don't know that he would take that position as a federal senator at that time. My guess is no, he wouldn't have. And show me a politician who has been brave while in elected office And I'll show you um, someone who has maybe a modicum of a chance. And preferably show me a senator, somebody who has run in a uh, seat that's not so safe. Because we see Republicans all the, way, uh, all the time, you know, Todd Aiken can win a congressional district. Richard Murdoch can win a congressional district.